everybody, it's Karen. I'm back after a couple of weeks of technical difficulties. Hope everybody's doing great. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about sun safety. With the weather getting a little bit nicer, um, I want to be able to provide you with some tips of how to get outdoors and enjoy the sun safely or be outdoors safely. Um, if you have any future suggestions, please just reach out to me. My email is at the end of the video. Hope everybody's doing well um, and let's just get started. Most skin cancers are caused by too much exposure to UV rays. Most of the exposure comes from the sun, but some can come from indoor exposure, including tanning beds and sun lamps. People who get a lot of exposure to UV rays are at greater risk for developing skin cancer. So what affects UV exposure? Time of day. UV rays are strongest in the middle of the day, um, usually between 10 and 4 p.m., um, the season of the year. Rays are strongest really in the spring and the summer months. Uh, the distance from the equator, UV exposure goes down as you get further from the equator. Um, altitude also affects UV exposure. Um, at higher elevations, you'll be um, susceptible, susceptible to more UV rays. Cloud cover. Cloud cover can affect UV rays, but it does not block all UV rays. Um, even on a cloudy day, you'll be exposed to UV rays. Um, reflection off surfaces. UV rays can bounce off surfaces like water, um, sand, snow, um, pavement, or cement, um, and that leads to an increased exposure. So what can you do to protect yourself? As much as possible, you can stay in the shade. Wear appropriate clothing, a hat, sunglasses, and sunscreen. One of the simplest things you can do is stay in the shade, especially during the midday hours, so roughly from 10 to 2. If possible, wear clothing that covers the arms and the legs. Clothing is not 100% effective. If you can see light through it, then the UV rays can get through too. However, there are now lots of companies out there making clothing that offers additional UV protection. How helpful that is, it's unknown, so it's important that you follow the other steps as well. A hat is a great way to protect your face and your neck and your ears. Make sure you choose a wide brim hat. It's at least two to three inches wide. It's also helpful to have a hat that might have a darker lining on the inside so it stops the reflection from hitting off your face. When purchasing sunglasses, be sure to purchase sunglasses that block 99% to 100% of the UV rays. Be sure to check the label before purchasing. Large frame and wraparound sunglasses are definitely preferred to protect the eyes. If you're going to be headed outside and exposed to UV rays, be sure to wear sunscreen. The CDC recommends wearing a minimum SPF of 15, which blocks out about 93% of UVB rays. An SPF of 30 blocks out 97% of UVB rays, and an SPF of 50 blocks out about 98% of the UVB rays. Be sure to check that your sunscreen also offers broad spectrum protection versus for UVA and UVB rays. Make sure you read the directions carefully, reapply frequently, and check the expiration date. If you're looking for additional information, please visit the American Cancer Society website or the Center for Disease Control website to learn more. As always, make sure you're listening to your doctor's advice. We hope that you have a great day and a great week, and we look forward to seeing you next week.